Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Wolves are relatively popular in our world today. While some scientists prefer to describe them as wild beasts, others think they are calm and only attacked when disturbed. Whatever the case, this animal has been the target of humans mainly because of the misconception we have about them. This is me telling you that wolves are exciting animals, and when you get to know them, you love them more. These 10 facts about wolves prove that they aren't that bad after all. Number 10. Wolves are timid. The idea we have about this ferocious animal is that when they behold our presence, they run fiercely toward us and within seconds, we're gone. Well, this scenario happens in rare cases, but in reality, wolves do not hunt humans. When they see humans, they try to get away from them if they catch their smell. The rabid wolf is the only species that is notoriously known to attack humans. If you meet a wolf handler, you may want to ask if they've ever been attacked. In most cases, they are bitten, but the injuries are not fatal. However, you should be careful around this animal if you find them in packs because they are territorial and do not tolerate invasion. They are not evil, but want to survive in the best way they can. When they go hunting, they try to get their food in the safest way they can, like killing domestic animals. People's fear of wolves has motivated several animal slaughters as some were imprisoned, shot, poisoned, and trapped. In most cases, some states offered bounties for dead or captive wolves to curtail them. Number 9. Wolves live in packs. Wolves are dynamic, and it's tricky preempting their next move. They live in packs, and this is one of the features that attract humans to them. A cluster consists of about 6 to 10 animals. Family hierarchy is similar to humans, where there is the head of the family. As they come together, other members of the pack are subordinate to the head. Each of them is assigned a duty to the household, and they know when and how to go about their task. As pups, the adults go out and hunt for food and shield them from predators. They can go as far as 12 miles per day, and if the journey is successful, they can consume as much as 20 pounds of meat at a go. When they're out hunting, there's a wolf in the pack to secure the pups, and when the young ones are mature, they split to create their own packs. When the alpha is killed, a replacement is chosen among the remaining members. When an adult can no longer produce pups, another fertile alpha takes over. Number 8. Exceptional Senses Humans may surpass other lower animals in certain features, but the wolves beat us to our game as their sense of smell is far above ours. A wolf's sense of smell is 100 times greater than a human's. When they pant, they have 14 times more reception of smell than us. They can smell their prey from a distance as far as 1.75 miles away. In fact, they can determine the gender and age of their kind from a distance. This timely detection skill helps them to avoid predators. They can move each nostril independently, allowing them to determine the direction a scent is coming from. Inside the snout is about 280 million scent receptors, which is way higher than the German shepherds and humans. They can hear sounds from 6 miles away in the forest and 10 miles away in an open area. They can hear as high as 80 kilohertz, whereas humans make do with only 20 kilohertz. Wolves detect the slightest movement around them, although their sense of sight is not well defined like their prey. Number 7. They are clever hunters. Wolves have enough energy that sustains them until they have achieved their goal for the day. They wouldn't run at full speed unless they are close to their prey. A smart move, isn't it? That way they'd reserve their energy till their catch the stones throw away. The further they go chasing their prey, the weaker they get and succumb to pressure. They rely on visual cues like scent and hearing to know when the target is more vulnerable. They're not the ambush kind because they don't rely on surprise and an intense short burst of energy. They can run several miles to find the right animal and wouldn't settle for anything that comes their way. Although they occasionally hunt hares and small prey, their most preferred targets are hoofed animals like deer and elk. Wolves are smart and know when to back out. The alpha male who is out there in the forest searching for food gives up when he notices things aren't going in his favor. Shouldn't humans take a clue from this? Young wolves watch older ones and learn the strategies adults apply in hunting. Number 6. They hold the family in high esteem. For wolves, it is family first and next. Did you think it is a mere coincidence that they live in packs? Uh-uh. They appreciate harmonious and playful interactions with family. The pups are loved and protected in the pack by aunts, uncles, elder siblings, and parents. Every member of the pack can sacrifice their lives to keep the family happy. 
One moment in the lives of wolves that is worth admiring is when the weather changes. When melting snow converts the rivers to torrents, they migrate from their dens to hunting grounds, meaning they have to cross rivers. As the adults swim ahead, they show younger ones how it's done. The younger ones follow closely behind, and if one of them starts drowning, the adults turn around to help them. When an elderly wolf falls sick, all hands are on deck to cater to him or her. They consider age as a sign of experience and would not disrespect older wolves because of their input in hunts. When a member of the pack dies, the family is thrown into mourning for many days. Kinda sounds like us, doesn't it? Number 5. The concept of an alpha wolf is a myth. I know, I know. I've talked about alpha wolves in this very video, but it is time to debunk some myths. The idea of alpha denotes that one animal is superior to the others. The study dates back to the 1970s when the information on wolves was limited. Modern research has proven that these fierce animals do not fight for pack supremacy and control. The males breed and look after their families. Wolf experts now refer to the supposed alphas as the breeding male or male parent. David Meck was the first person to propound the term in his 1970 book, The Wolf, Ecology and Behavior of Endangered Species. New pieces of evidence now say that he was wrong because he had studied the animals in captivity. Unfortunately, or fortunately if you're not the captive wolf, wolves are very different when they live in the wild. In reality, when a male breeds its offspring, they become members of the pack. It doesn't need to fight other species for dominance. When the sons are old, they form their own pack and cater to their young ones. Number 4. There are over 24 extinct and 2 surviving wolf species. Only about 2 wolf species survived to Pleistocene extinction. Although scientists argue that this figure could be more, the gray and red wolves are among the most popular survivors. There are also several subspecies named after the region where they exist. Most of these species have striking similarities, but there are sufficient features that differentiate them. The gray wolf is about the most famous one. They come in varying colors and sizes depending on the location spread across Canada, the US, Alaska, some regions in Africa, Europe, and Asia. They have a relatively low population globally, which has earned them a spot in the list of endangered species. Thankfully, some countries have regulations to control the indiscriminate hunting of this animal because humans suck. The other species you'll likely see in captivity or in the wild is the red wolf. You'll probably confuse them with a fox because of their reddish tint. They are found mainly in North and South Carolina in the US. Unfortunately, they are victims of indiscriminate hunting and may go extinct if nothing positive is done. Because again, humans suck. Number 3. The Indian wolf is one of the smallest subspecies of wolves. The Indian wolf is unarguably one of the smallest subspecies of wolves ranging from 24 to 38 inches. They weigh only about 40 to 60 pounds and boast a reddish color. They were previously confused with the Iranian wolf, but recent studies show that they are genetically distinct. Because of their size, they survive on smaller hares, rabbits, and rodents. Sadly, most of their prey are also the targets of humans, and they have been forced to feed on livestock and weaker humans like children. I know that's terrible, but who is to be blamed here? Their breeding season is around October after the rains. They give birth to their young ones in an underground den where adults cater to them until they're about six months old. From their name, it's easy to guess where they live. They are found in the Indian states of Haryana, Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, and so on. Although this animal is protected under the Indian Wildlife Act of 1972, it suffers persecution from locals because it attacks children and livestock. A 2004 study revealed that there are only about 3,000 Indian wolves in the wild. This figure continues to decline because of deforestation, industrialization, and intense agriculture. Now it's time for today's best pick. It wasn't tricky having this fact fit comfortably at number two. Some wolf species may not look it, but they are excellent swimmers. How? We'll continue watching. Number two. Wolves can swim. The ocean is the last place you'd expect to find a wolf, but if you're lucky, you may see one there. They swim across stretches of lakes and in the summer, they rely on the stream to keep them warm. They'll gladly jump into the water if their prey seeks refuge there. 
Before 2011, it was unheard of to see a wolf having its time in the sea, but when British photographer Ian McAllister took pictures of it, it became an open secret. Vancouver Island is home to a variety of wildlife, including the famed sea wolves. Sea wolves are distinct from common species and are usually smaller. They can swim for several hours between different islands without resting. Researchers say the longest recorded distance of a wolf swimming is about 12 kilometers. Who would have thought that? 90% of their food comes from the ocean as they feed on river otters, seals, herring eggs, whale carcasses, salmon, and other kinds of seafood. The next time you're around the ocean, be on the lookout for your wild friend because they may be lurking on the surface. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 1 Wolves are associated with awkward myths. Legend has it that the Mongol people descended from the mating of a doe and a wolf. And as a result, Mongolians believe that a wolf is a sign of good luck, especially for males. In medicine, Mongolians believed that eating a wolf's intestines alleviates indigestion, and sprinkling food with powdered wolf rectum is the cure for hemorrhoids. Although this animal is revered in this country, it is notorious for its wanton killing. Another legend claims that at the beginning of the world, God instructed the wolf to eat only one sheep out of 1,000. Regrettably, the creature mistook the instruction and thought God asked him to kill 1,000 and eat one. Because they tend to kill livestock and humans, they are usually the target of hunters and people who live around their habitat. In Japan, grain farmers worshipped wolves and left offerings for them, imploring them to protect their crops from predators. Charms adorned with wolves' images are said to protect homes against diseases and other calamities like a fire outbreak. Ask around for some of the weird myths about wolves in your community. You'll be shocked to hear some stories the internet never revealed to you. There are about a thousand and one facts about wolves I would have loved to share in this video, but time isn't our friend. However, the floor is open to you to share some other relatable stories you've heard about wolves. Hit the comment box and we'll be glad to hear from you. Subscribe to our channel for more premium content and hit the notification bell to be the first to watch our videos. Until another episode, adios.